Hey folks, uh, this lesson is uh, we're going to use drawings to represent uh, problems, so represent addition and subtraction problems. Okay, so uh, how are bar models, that's what we're going to use in this lesson, how are bar models used uh, to show addition and subtraction problems? Okay, let's get started here. So we're going to complete the bar model to show the problem and then complete the number sentence involved. Okay, here we go. So. Uh, Haley has five pennies in her pocket and seven pennies in her wallet. So how many pennies does she have all together? So we're going to put five here and seven here. And I think your textbook actually puts those in there for you right there. All right. And so what this is, is we want to know how many pennies does she have all together. So this is going to be uh, five plus seven. Okay. We're going to add this one plus this one. So we'll put a 5 here and a 7 here, okay? And then uh, remember, um, uh, our trick on adding right here, it's easy to get 10s if we do 5 plus 5, and that'll give us 10, and then we just do 10, 10 plus 2, okay? So that's what we can do. 5 plus 5 is 10, so 10 plus 2 is 12. So that means 5 plus 7 also equals 12. So how many pennies does she have? She has, she has 12 pennies. Okay, all right, let's try this, you guys. Okay, so Blake has 12 pennies in his bank, and he gives five pennies to his sister. How many pennies does he have now? Okay, so we know that there's going to be uh, 12 pennies all together. Whoops, that's not supposed to be there yet. So, um, uh, and he gives five pennies to his sister, so here we're going to do 12 minus 5. Well, remember, we're using the same parts and holes right here. So here's here we had 5 plus 12 equals 7, so 12 minus 5 will equal that 7 right there, okay? So that's what we do is 12 minus 5 equals 7, so he's going to have 7 pennies then, okay? If we, if, if we did 12 minus 7, that would equal 5 because we used the same uh, parts with the whole as the last problem right there, okay? So explain how the problems are alike and how they're different. Okay, well, here's the first one right here. We had, um, uh, they gave us uh, these two parts right here, 5 and 7, and we added them together to get 12. And then this one here, um, uh, they gave us the 12, and we didn't know uh, the 7, so we did 12 minus 5, and that gave us this 7 right here. So how are they alike? Well, the bar models are the exact same, so we use the same parts and holes. So in the first problem, we solved for the whole, and then the second problem, we solved for the part. Okay, so they both have the same parts, 5 and 7, that adds up to 12. So over here, we can do 12 minus 5 or 12 minus 7, and that'll give us the other part right there. Okay, something like that. Okay, so we can use bar models to show uh, problems here. So Ben eats 14 cookies. Lucky Ben. Ron eats six cookies. So how many more cookies did Ben eat than Ron? Okay, so here's Ben. Ben ate 14, and Ron ate six. So what this is going to be is a subtraction problem. Problem. We're going to do 14 minus 6 right there, okay? And then so uh, remember, we did this in the last lesson right here. So this is the, the last uh, model and draw from the, the very last lesson. 14 minus 6, we broke up 6 into 4 and 2. And then we did 14 minus 4. 14 minus 4 gave us 10. And then we did um, uh, the 10, 10 minus the 2 right there, and that gave us 8. Okay, so the number line, we started at 14, and we first subtracted 4 four to get to ten and then we subtracted two more and that and that took us to eight right there okay so um, uh, so how many more cookies did uh, did Ben eat he ate eight more cookies right there okay so here we go so Susie has 14 cookies okay so here we have the same hole right here and she gives six cookies to Grace so how many cookies does Susie have now well this is going to be 14 minus six it's going to give us this other part in the problem above which is going to be 8 right there. 14 minus 6 is 8, so Susie's going to have 8 cookies left, all right? Let's try a couple more of these, okay? So we're going to complete the bar model and then and then write a number sentence to solve, okay? All right, so here we go. So Mr. Bullock bought 15 plain bagels and, and 9 raisin bagels, okay? Whoops, I'm missing an I in raisins right there. Let me put that in there. I'm misspelling. My students tell me I'm, I misspell all the time. Does your teacher misspell all the time or make math mistakes all the time? I do, and my kids sure let me know about it, which is okay with me. Okay, so um, uh, here we're going to do uh, 15 minus 9 right there. So 15 minus 9... I keep putting that in there. Okay, so I know what 15 minus 5 is. 15 minus 5 is going to get me that 10 right there. Let me get that I in there. Sorry. 
Um, so 15 minus um, uh, 5 is 10, so we do uh, 10 minus the rest of the piece. So 10 minus um, uh, the 4 right there is going to give us, what's 10 minus 4? That's 6, isn't it? Okay, so um, um, uh, how many more did, uh, uh, did Mr. Bullock buy of the plane? He has uh, 6 more of the plane bagels right there, okay? So there's the answer right there, okay? And we subtract it in, in parts right there to get 10, okay? 10's a nice number to work with. You'll find later as we multiply and stuff, 10's a fantastic number to multiply with. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, so Sander has five books about dogs and six books about cats. I know Sander. Sander loves dogs and cats, and I do too. We have four dogs at home, and we have two cats at home too. So sometimes you hear my dogs barking in the background or playing with their squeaky toys or whatever. So I'm at school right now. So anyways, and it's almost lunch. The bell's going to ring soon. So Sander has five uh, books on dogs and then six books on cats. So how many books does Sander have all together? So here we're going to add five plus six. So five plus six. Okay, well, remember six is five and one. So if we do five plus five, that's ten. And then so do ten plus 10 plus 1 gets us 11, so Sandra has 11 books right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and I hope you're doing great in your class. Take care, you guys.